Welcome to the overview of Virtual Setworks Volume 9 in Adobe Premiere. We're going to go over some of the basic tools that you'll need in order to put together a compelling virtual set composite in Adobe Premiere. We're going to start by uh, reviewing uh, this studio here, 191. This is the wide angle, and you can see this composite's already been done. And we're going to add another one next to it to dissolve to and go through the steps that you need. So you can see here, uh, we've loaded the composite shot. Uh, the composite shot adds um, a bunch of the different layers together to save you some time. And then we'll go get our chroma keyed talent. Uh, originally lying on uh, her side, we need to rotate her and chroma key her. And the result is uh, this, the talent standing upright on the virtual set. And we're just going to position the talent using the uh, motion control in the effect controls. Next we'll need to um, add a reflection because she's standing on a reflective service and we need to go through how to do that. We're just going to make a copy of the talent and you can uh, go into um, effects and what you'll need to find there is under uh, transform is going to be the uh, horizontal flip. Uh, don't get that confused with vertical flip uh, which flips around a vertical axis you want the horizontal flip, which will turn uh, the talent upside down and make a reflection. So we'll just go to motion and the effect controls and move the talent down until their feet are touching. This uh, still isn't right because we need to add some crop here because the reflective area goes um, doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the screen. And by using uh, the crop, we can eliminate some of that to make it look like just the reflective areas reflecting. And then lastly, we'll head up to the opacity adjuster and dial down the opacity a little bit so that the talent looks like a true reflection. So our reflection's done. The next step would be uh, to add a desk. So we're going to go to our project studio and we're going to find the desk mat. And the desk mat is different from the desk in that uh, it has a hole where the screen is. And that's not going to look right because we can see through to our talent. Uh, but we're going to fill that in with uh, some video. And we have uh, just this animation of a chessboard. And we're going to pop that in there. And you can see the chessboard is behind the desk, but it's filling the whole screen now. And again, back to uh, scale and motion. So we're just going to size it down and move the talent, move the, we're going to size it down and move the image into the screen there. I'm going to adjust the size up a little bit. Now you can also see that we need a reflection here because there's no reflection of the screen in the floor. Uh, we've done again that horizontal flip and crop and um, all we need to do is adjust the opacity and we'll get a nice reflection of our B source. And last, what we need to do is add the um, video into the monitor. So we'll just move this stack up and we're going to slide the video in behind the composite. And you can see it filling the, uh, the entire background there. Um, more than just the screen, it's filling up where uh, the background goes. But we'll size it down. You can see the background reappear and we'll just move it uh, over here to where the screen belongs. And we'll just adjust the scale until it fits the screen properly. Now what we need to do is uh, we're going to nest all of these clips together so that it goes down into one group. Let's nest there. And we're going to overlap them a little bit and give it a dissolve so that the clips dissolve from one to another. And lastly, we need to add a zoom. Uh, we do that by animating the scale of the clip over time. Uh, we'll start out at 100, and we'll move to the end of the clip, and then we'll adjust the size of the scale upwards to 140 something. And that gives us a nice slow zoom. And since we're working with higher resolution footage than our output range, uh, we aren't even breaking one to one. 
So the finished animation sequence, this is the first clip, and you can see the talent with reflections in the desk, standing behind the desk in front of some screens, dissolving to the clip that we just created uh, with video and reflections, everything sized appropriately, and that's how you create a virtual set in Adobe Premiere using the Volume 9 elements.